Hello everybody, hello from Bahrain. I'm recording this video in my Bahrain home. I'm visiting my family and the weather is so beautiful. It's spring and I have gone in a default rest mode. If you're following me on Instagram, you probably know that I've been taking at least three naps a day, if not more. I'm visiting my family literally after the pandemic, like two and a half years or more, and it feels so good to be back. I have been taking my own sweet time with recording content. I'm in no rush, but I really wanted to put up content for you guys on YouTube. As promised, today's YouTube video is going to be all about the skincare and body care that I'm traveling with right now on my holidays. Now, if you're watching me for the first time, then hi, my name's Preeti. I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free, which means products that are not tested on animals, all of the products in this video are not tested on animals. If this is the kind of content you resonate with, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue watching today's video. Now, yesterday when I sat to record this video, I really wanted to record body care, hair care and skin care, but I have a lot of products because this is a very long holiday and it just got really long. So I'm going to stick with just skin care and body care in this and maybe I'll do hair care and makeup in another video. Let's start with body care. Now with body care, I kept it fairly simple. Only products that I require, mainly because the weather here is super dry, you guys. Unlike Bombay City, where it's very humid, very sticky and all of that, here it's quite dry. It's also spring, so it's not summer yet, which means the weather at night is super cool beautiful breeze it's very dry during the day you have some sunlight but very very breezy weather so I wanted to use products that were very moisturizing nothing hardcore with exfoliation let's start with body washes now this one right here from Fiamma this is the Mimosa Neroli body wash now when I traveled with this this was around this much and now I think we've finished this much already it's been almost two weeks I purposely didn't carry a lot of full size full to the brim containers because I wanted to finish off the products and just dispose off everything here so I don't have to carry additional weight back home now this is amazing it doesn't over dry the skin it also smells really fresh so it's perfect for spring the next one is the Hawaiian Rumba shower gel from Plum I absolutely love this the fragrance is very very gentle now this is a mini that I've anyway emptied a while ago but I carry this on my travels because it's easy to refill with whatever shower gel you want in this case it's Hawaiian Rumba because I have a full size at home back in Bombay city now this is so so good you guys i love plum shower gels i don't know how i forgot to carry my coffee vacacino one that cream shower gel is so so good perfect for this dry weather and I, I don't know how it slipped my mind I should have carried it but nevertheless these are amazing they don't over dry the skin perfect for dry weather now for body scrub I carried this one right here the Mediterranean sea salt one from Nika this is one of my favorites you all already know now when I carried this this was around here but I have this much left I finished a lot of these back in Bombay this is one of my favorite ranges absolutely love this I love how this is super super gentle perfect for the entire body because the granules are not too sharp they're not too thick I can easily use it on my chest on my hands my inner arms inner thighs and I can also use this on my butt and my legs I also carried my shaving cream from Bombay shaving company this is so good you guys it leaves the skin so soft it makes the hair so soft and easier to shave as well. Absolutely love this. Again, this wasn't a full, full container up to the brim. I finished half already in Bombay City, so I'm guessing I might finish more of this here and then just dispose this off. Now for moisturizing, I carry two different products. One is a body yogurt and one is a body butter, mainly because at night when the weather is dry, I really want to deeply moisturize my skin so that I wake up with plump, beautiful, soft skin in the morning. And during the daytime, I don't want to use a body butter because I'm typing, you know, I'm doing house chores, I'm just lazing around. So so for me, I like using light body yogurts. Now the first one is the body butter. This one is from Pure by Priyanka. You've heard me speak so much about this. This is thick. It smells luxurious. It just, it's so beautiful, you guys. I love this so much. It's been almost two years now that I've been in love with it. Absolutely love how this deeply moisturizes my skin. It doesn't feel greasy. It's just non-sticky. It absorbs beautifully into the skin and it smells so, so good. I have lost count of the number of times I've bought this. Now the Body Shop British Rose is the body yogurt that I carry. This is so, so good. The fragrance is very long lasting, super moisturizing, non-greasy, perfect for a daytime routine where you don't want something very thick and buttery. The fragrance of this is honestly way more long lasting than the shower gels. The shower gels from Body Shop are honestly so bad they just are not long lasting in terms of fragrance I've always been going on and on about this if you want a good shower gel there are so many Indian brands there's plum there's pure by Priyanka there's body gold their shower gels are so good I've also carried the British Rose hand cream you guys it's in my handbag in my bedroom I love how that is non-sticky it smells really good and I kept moisturizing my hands in flight as well and even here the weather's quite dry so I keep using it now for deodorants I stuck with my basic gosh deodorant you guys have heard me speak so much about it you don't get it in India I also carried my body shop white mask 
mask roll on it's in my bedroom i'm gonna leave a photo on the screen those are the only deodorants i'm traveling with now for fragrances obviously i stick with body shop because they're cruelty free and vegan so the red fixation it's in my handbag absolutely love it and the vanilla perfume from body shop those are the two that i constantly stick with that's all for body care you guys very simple to the point let's start with skincare okay let's start with toners now the first one is this guy right here from claire's absolutely love this this is not the unfragranced one I love this so much for this weather. It's dry. I want something that will calm my skin, especially when I've come out from a sunny day. I also want something that will hydrate my skin in this dry weather. So this is what I stuck with. I also carried a mini that I wanted to finish. This was 3 fourth, and this is emptied right now. So I have this guy right here. Again, this wasn't filled to the brim. This was half right here. I'm not sure if I'll finish this entire bottle in this trip, but I might have to just travel back with this. This is amazing. Absolutely love this. Highly recommend this for trouble skin, dry skin, acne prone skin, literally all skin types. If you are allergic to fragrances, then you might want to pick the unfragranced version of this. I also carried this new launch here from Dot & Key. This is amazing, you guys. The brand had sent me one and I left it in India and I purchased a new one to travel with. I thought I would finish it, but I didn't because I really liked it. It worked so beautifully on my skin. This is amazing if you have acne prone skin, cystic acne. If you have a lot of inflammation, this is amazing to calm all of that inflammation absolutely love it man it is such a good toner it's also very very hydrating i don't use this every single day maybe every other day and the last one is my pixie glow tonic toner this is almost done you guys this was half a bottle when i traveled with this i think i'm going to finish this and dispose it off right here this is something i use every alternate days it is a five percent glycolic acid perfect for exfoliation i don't use it every single day you don't have to use it every single day Every alternate day or twice a week is more than enough. This is one of my favorite glycolic acid toners in India. If you find this pricey, Dr. Shades has a very good one. Eclat has a very good one as well. Both of them work pretty much the same way like this guy right here. I should have ideally started with face washes, but never mind. Let's start with the face washes and double cleansers. The first one is the Foxtail Daily Do It. This is so good, man. This removes makeup so well. It doesn't really remove hardcore waterproof lipsticks, you know, the liquid ones. But for everything else, this works really, really well, at least on my skin. And then it emulsifies so beautifully when you add some water. You need to apply this to dry skin. Remove all of that makeup by just, you know, massaging it in. Add some water, it emulsifies, and it leaves your skin so clean. No residue at all. This also doesn't have any strong fragrances, so it's perfect for anybody that's probably allergic to fragrance. It also doesn't over dry my skin, so it's perfect for this weather. The next one is a perfect balance cleansing foam. This one is from Listen, and I've been trying this out for about two, three weeks now. I carried a full size on my travel because I really wanted to try it out. It reminds me a lot of the Tony Moly green tea or tea tree face wash the big guy that i always keep talking about i really wish there were small sizes for that because i love that face wash so much foaming face washes are perfect for dry weather now this one has salicylic acid which is perfect if you have white heads black heads if you have acne prone skin oily skin combination skin that is perfect right salicylic acid is amazing so this face wash is pretty good the next one is a cleansing gel from true frog now i'm almost done with this you guys it's all squeezed out absolutely love this again this is a product for double cleansing apply this to your dry skin you know massage it all in add some water it emulsifies beautifully it is super for all weathers it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't leave any residue absolutely love this i've already spoken about this a while ago on youtube and on instagram if i'm not mistaken but i want to do a comparison of both of these i'm planning to post it pretty soon on instagram so stay tuned for that I carried my Murad Essential C face wash. This is amazing. I love how gentle this is. Now, this is a staple. You know, I know that this is going to work really well for me, so I traveled with this. This, on the other hand, I was trying, so I wasn't sure if this would work out for me or not. And I also like having different options for face washes because on some days, I want something for acne-prone skin. On some days, I just want a gentle cleanser. On some days, I want something brightening, so I like giving myself options. And the last one is my Dermalogica Microfoliant. How can I ever miss this? This is a product that I carry with me in every single travel. It gently exfoliates the surface of my skin. It's also got salicylic acid rice flour which is a very gentle exfoliant it works really well of course you shouldn't be using this every single day even though it says you should use it every single day i don't recommend it maybe twice or thrice a week is more than enough i like using this on my chin 
on my cheeks, on my nose and my forehead, no other places because this is where I do get a lot of congestion. I have all my serums laid down right here. I'm literally sitting on the ground on the carpet because it's so comfortable. This is my living room, by the way. This is my living room. And behind that on the other side is the dining room. So um, just to give you an idea of where I'm sitting, we have a huge window right here, just like the one I have in my Bombay City house. So it's a lot of lights combined with my ring light. The first serum is from Plum, the Bakuchiol and One Person Retinol Serum. Absolutely love this. I've been going on and on about this. If you are somebody who's already used a 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 retinol and you want to, you know, increase it up a notch, this is really cool. It's super gentle, man. Nothing over the top. Very moisturizing. I specifically didn't travel with the 2%. I really wanted to carry my 2% retinols, but there's a lot of weather change. There's a lot of traveling. Um, there's dust in the air here. It's spring. It's tropical weather in Bombay. And all of that combined with the 2% retinol and 20% vitamin C and all would be too much. So I just stuck with basics now anything less than a one percent retinol doesn't show any results on my skin because i've been using retinol since i was 17 16 18 i don't even remember so this is something that works really well for me and i strongly recommend it man it doesn't have any strong fragrances the next one is from Cure, and this is the Acne and Sebum Controlling Serum 5% Lactic Acid AHA 1% Salicylic Acid BHA absolutely love this i've been going on and on about this on instagram and youtube i love how this reduces acne it reduces whiteheads it does all of this while also reducing the marks and pih because it does have lactic acid i don't recommend using this every single day you can use this every other day or as spot treatment for a week and then stop really good stuff man i strongly recommend it i have a lot of plum stuff here so both of these serums are from plum this is the 15 person vitamin c serum and this is a niacinamide 10 percent both of these layer beautifully together this is non-sticky perfect for am as well as pm routine now in bombay i stick with the sticky ones for night and the lightweight ones for day but here i just wanted to travel with one so i stuck with this I also didn't want to do a 20% vitamin C again, change of weather and so many things. So a 15% is fair enough, you know, it's decent. And also I really want to finish this because I'm left with half of the bottle. So maybe I can finish this and dispose it off right here. This one is a brand new bottle though. I opened it right before traveling, mainly because I really like this niacinamide serum. It's perfect for dry weather. It's also something I can use in AM as well as PM routines. And I would need a full size because by the ending of the trip, I'm going to be done with this. I use niacinamide twice a day amazing stuff strongly recommend it it's not big enough friendly though but it's pretty good stuff i also traveled with my favorite eclat fade out serum i'm almost done with this you guys no no i'm not actually i have half a bottle this is amazing very good stuff i've used this like four or five times so far not more than that i didn't see a need to use it every single day because i don't have a lot of acne i don't have a lot of hyperpigmentation either i've literally only applied some compact no concealer either so my skin is pretty much behaving in this weather which i'm really happy about this is like a preventive measure when i have a lot of hormonal acne around my period this is what i will use in my am because this helps to reduce all of that inflammation it also helps to even out skin texture and reduce pigmentation amazing stuff it also has five percent niacinamide so i don't have to layer another niacinamide with this the next one is from list and this is the timeless elegance lift up ampule super super hydrating it really helps to even out my skin tone and texture it's a very good formulation absolutely love this this works amazing on my skin it does have a slightly strong fragrance which fades away nothing too over the top you need just a few drops of this so after toner i'll apply this then niacinamide and then go on with actives in case i need any or i'll just stick with this niacinamide and then a moisturizer on top I also carried my Plum Date Night Glow Serum. This is amazing if you have very dry skin or if you're in very, very dry weather. This is amazing. You can also use it in all weather conditions. What I like about this is that it's extremely hydrating, extremely moisturizing. It locks in moisture really well and you can use it in literally all skincare routines. Now, since we're already talking about moisturizer, let's talk about some more. So the first one is the Hibiscus and Niacinamide Lotion. This is my staple, you guys. I cannot do without this. This is from Dr. Shades. It's got 5% niacinamide, which is perfect for beginners if you've never used niacinamide. This is also a very moisturizing lotion. Nothing over the top. Doesn't feel greasy and it's super easy to use. The next one is a Rose Gold Face Moisturizer from Pure by Priyanka. I carry this because I had three-fourths of this bottle and I'm done with so much already. This is extremely moisturizing. It is so good. It deeply moisturizes the skin without feeling greasy and it's perfect for this weather. This is a staple in my skincare. Staple. Absolutely love this. The next one is from Kos RX and this is a mouthful. Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. Okay, now this is honestly so good. 
it is so refreshing it is so calming it is brightening it hydrates the skin so well you wake up with the most soft and supple skin this is such a good product i've been using this since march and i am so impressed with the quality i don't know why i didn't try cosrx before in my life this is my first time trying out this brand and i am so so impressed I also traveled with my Midnight Blue Calming Cream from Claire's. This has been a staple in my skincare since 2019 or 2018. Absolutely love this. This is so, so good. I like to use this as a patch spot treatment. So if I have a lot of dry area here, I'll apply this. I don't apply this all over my face. I did the mistake in the past of doing that and it feels too much on my skin, man. I don't need it that much. Now, in this dry weather, what I like to do is after applying my under eye creams, I layer a good amount of this under my eyes, like a thick layer. And this moisturizes my skin so so well i really like this man i always almost always travel with this when i go on long holidays now for acne treatment i've got four different products the first one is a centella blemish cream from cosrx this is so good it's got zinc oxide very good very calming reduces inflammation reduces blemishes cystic acne as well it works really well the only problem is that it has a very strong white cast so you can only use this before you go to sleep if you use this in daytime it's going to look like you've got mineral sunscreen on your face now this one from listen is called moving forward this is a spot correcting gel this is my favorite since last month since march this is a strong competition to my plum spotlight correcting gel this also has salicylic acid you just need to apply this directly on active acne spot correction that's it you can use this every single day for a week and then stop then use it every alternate day you don't want to use this every single day for like a month at a stretch it's going to really trouble your skin never ever use spot correction every single day for weeks at a stretch all right this is amazing of course it's a little pricey as compared to the plum spotlight gel but this is pretty good nevertheless and i really like it so i wanted to travel with this this time next one is an all-time favorite five percent benzoyl peroxide this is so good if you want to spot treat your acne and everything else is failing salicylic acid isn't working centella isn't working zinc oxide isn't working then this is what comes to your rescue in case you haven't used benzoyl peroxide then you can obviously use a 2.5 percent in this i've been using benzoyl peroxide for spot treating i don't know for years now man 10 12 years so this is something i stick with this works really well i also carried this big box right here of the listen multi multi-action peel stick that's what it's called super effective if you want to reduce blackheads acne blemishes very very effective stuff let me quickly open it and show you what this looks like so this is what it looks like and you need to apply this to any active acne i'm just going to apply right here because i do have some active acne situation you see this big guy right here the only problem is that there's going to be a lot of plastic wastage with this right because it's like a huge q-tip and you can't really put it back you have to obviously spray some cleaning alcohol and then go in so there's a lot of wastage when it comes to this unless you have a lot of acne don't open it i just traveled with one under eye cream this one is the chamomile and caffeine under eye cream from dr shades this is my current favorite love how this performs on my under eyes it reduces puffiness it reduces fine lines pretty good stuff now for sunscreens i traveled with these three right here this is the new launch ceramide and vitamin c sunscreen from dr shades this is so good no white cast at all it feels really nice on the skin very very moisturizing all of these sunscreens are very moisturizing because it is a very dry weather condition here and i didn't want mattifying sunscreens because i do have mattifying makeup mattifying sprays this literally feels like a moisturizer you guys it's got hyaluronic acid two percent vitamin c it's got one person ceramide along with spf this is an spf 50 which is amazing absolutely love this i love this i also love the mineral sunscreen from this it got a lot of flack online but i really like it it's so so good especially if you're going swimming because it's a hundred percent waterproof the next one is my foxtail one you guys have heard me speak so much about this this is one of my favorite ones because it's so dewy it feels amazing on the skin and it's a perfect base for makeup this is an spf 50 and even this listen one right here is spf 50 now this is slightly heavy on fragrance i would have preferred it if it didn't have so much fragrance but it is a very good form Formulation. This is something I've been trying out for about three weeks and I'm so impressed with it. The Foxtail one has a very minimal white cast as compared to the Dr. Shades one. This is slightly more visible on the skin. The Listen one has absolutely no white cast. All three of these are honestly amazing. They also look the same. All of them are yellow and white. Now, because the weather is super dry for my lips, I stuck with this combo right here. This is the newly launched lip conditioning serum from Juicy Chemistry. And this is the Blood Orange and Rose Hip Lip Balm. This, you've heard me speak so much about, my absolute favorite since four or five years. This combination is so good. You first go in with this and then apply this. It deeply conditions the lips. It reduces pigmentation, reduces dryness. 
perfect for all weathers especially dry weather i love this lip balm you guys i bought this specifically for the travels and i finished so much already i opened this only directly in bahrain when i traveled here and i just go through this like anything it also tastes really good it smells really good very very moisturizing you can use it under your lipsticks you can use it in daytime you can use a thick layer on your lips as a nice sleeping mask either ways this works really really good strongly recommended the lip conditioning serum is also so good it's a very good launch by the brand now the last product is something I didn't travel with. This is what my mom got me. This is the Essentials Hemp Seed Oil. This is from a brand called Acura. I think my parents got it from the States. Amazing stuff. This is so, so moisturizing. It is extremely lightweight and it smells amazing. I use this on my cuticles because I do have nail extensions. They look so great. Look at that. They're pretty long this time. And I use this around my cuticles just to massage this in because my nails are getting quite dry in this weather. So I use this as a cuticle oil and it does a fantastic job. It is so, so good. You can obviously use this on your face and your neck. Hemp seed oil is so great for using pretty much anywhere on the body, even on your hair. And that's it, you guys. Those are all my skincare and body care products. I know this might look like a lot, but this is a longer holiday as compared to just a week when I travel to Goa or anywhere in India. I really needed one of each vitamin C, retinol, you know, fade out my azelic acid, my niacinamide. I need two different moisturizers because the weather is different. I also need different varieties of toners because I will break out and I will need something calming. I need a lot of different spot treatments. Um, I do require different sunscreens because the weather is quite dry here. I'm also trying out some new products since the past three weeks. So this was a good way for me to really stay away from my usual favorites in Bombay and try out some new products. And um, I think I've done a fantastic job so far. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any doubts, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please hit a thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions about these products, if you have any recommendations for me, leave them in the comments. Also, if you've tried any of these products, what was your experience like? Let me know in the comments below. All right, you guys, I'm going to take your leave now. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my previous videos right here. I will catch you all in the next video. So then take care of yourselves. Bye.